Okay, so here we are going to talk about the change in green size. Okay, how big is individual green, as well as pore size during the sintering process. And uh, naturally, both green size and the pore size. The so pores are essentially between the individual greens, right? Uh, at the corner, will grow as the relative density increase. Uh, sorry, yeah, will increase the the due to the coarsening, due to the green growth phenomena. Okay, so here we are showing two plots. Let's first look at the plot on the left. We are plotting green size versus relative density. Okay, of course we don't, ideally we do not really start from zero, start from like 50%, something like that. And there are different uh, so-called uh, paradigm or, or uh, situation. The first one is pure coarsening. Essentially, we have very linear increase in green size. At the same time, I have achieved a very little increase in density. That's typical coarsening, right? Our particles are just getting larger. In between them, the, the interstitial gets coarser and coarser, but no elimination of the so-called porosity, okay? The ideal case would be, I wouldn't say ideal, but uh, a good sintering would be something like this, densification followed by green growth. So initially, you have very little increase in green size, but significant increase in relative density. And towards the end, towards the end, typically 85% of relative density. Beyond that, quite often what people find is very difficult to control, to limit the green growth. And towards the end, it tapers up dramatically. Okay. And people try to fight this, but it's very tricky. It's very, very tricky. If you want full densification, quite often, unavoidably, you have a very dramatic increase in green size. Okay. And the middle one is somewhere in between. We have a doing the sintering combination of green growth sorry, densification as well as coarsening. That's a one in the middle, coarsening plus densification. Of course, the, the, the message is, okay, you try to avoid pure coarsening, you try to get as much as close to the this one. And ideally, you want to go to here, but uh, typically it's very difficult towards the very end, it always have a tendency to, even for flash entry, for SPS, towards the very end, if an, it has a great tendency, within a few minutes, even a few seconds, the green growth goes up dramatically, okay? And uh, the plot on the right shows the change of green size versus pore size. So, okay, initially this is your, this location is your initial configuration. You have certain green size, certain pore size, okay? And uh, if you go along that, which is green size increase, pore size at the same time increase, that's typical coarsening, okay? And then for densification, for densification, ideally, we go this way a slight increase in green size. At the same time, the porosity got squeezed out, shrinkage that eliminates the pores, reduces the pores. So you have a slight decrease in pore size moving towards the left. But towards the very end, it's still very difficult to limit. Towards the very end, in typical centering, it's very difficult to limit the green growth, but hopefully towards very end, you completely eliminate the pores. Make sense? Of course, ideally you want to maintain this, but that's very, very difficult to achieve. So towards the, if you do sintering well, quite often it's something follows the Z curve. Increasing green size, at the same time, you try to eliminate 
most, if not all, of the plots. We are talking about go to relative relative density above ninety eight, ninety nine percent. Okay. So that's what we said. Ideal situation, densification followed by small green growth, to which occurs at the very end of the century. Okay.